Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. So, in the last part, Precious finally grew up. I'm going to bring her over here so you guys can see the new outfit that I decided to give her. So this is what she's sporting. I believe this particular outfit is from Get To Work, and it's one of my favorite for the kids. It looks super duper cute, and I've been having Kimiko help her out with her homework since she is going to be going to school now. So that is why she has the great teacher moodlet over here, and it says Kimiko is a masterful instructor whose greatest reward is the improvement of her pupils. I've also been having her... Okay... Gwen... Uh, what are you doing? Stop that! Why are you... <laughs> You're not supposed to have that! What the hell? I forgot that Sims can actually pick this thing up. Basically... I thought this would be really cute. It is really cute for Xanadu over here. I redid his bedroom a little bit. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let me bring this my sim figure out of here and let's put this here and hopefully no one will be able to grab it. I'm not sure, but since Xanadu is going to be aging up to a child, I wanted to have his bedroom look a lot more childlike. So I added in a bunch of new objects. I've also purchased some new shelves and I went to the retail shop and brought a bunch of the Mycem figures back and put them on display for his bedroom just so that it didn't look as cold and sad because there was basically nothing in this bedroom before and it was really depressing. So I hope it looks a lot more vibrant and suited for a child. I will hopefully revamp Diego's room a little bit because he certainly needs a bit of a remodel as well. Basically our entire family does. Oh, you know what? While I noticed this though, let me make sure that the floor tiles match each other. And I'm going to move this back yet again because now with this new hallway, I feel it makes more sense for this to be over here. Kimiko is about to go to work. We are definitely going to join her since she just has to go and diagnose one more patient. Of course, Bill is here. Why wouldn't, like, oh my god, Bill. I'm telling you, dude, you gotta stop with the trash cans. He just always does that every single time. He's gonna be here every day, isn't he? I'm pretty sure that he is. You know what, Bill? Let's just get you back home. We'll deal with you right away. Whoa, you have some, oh my goodness, what kind of trash were you rummaging through this time? Holy crap, that is some pretty serious skin condition right there. You almost look like a tiger, Bill. Yikes. Wait, why are you stealing his bed? Excuse me, Daisy. Oh, Daisy. She's the new co-worker of ours at the science laboratory. She's just as annoying as Daisy from Super Mario. Why is she even here? Just stealing our beds. We didn't even admit you to the bed. You just strolled on in here and just stole that away from poor Bill. Listen, Bill knows us. Bill's a VIP around these parts of town. So I'm very upset with you and the fact that you stole his bed because I don't think we don't have any other beds, do we? Um, so you need to get out. Awesome. And then I had that partition earlier. It wasn't really interfering with anything, but I deleted it. I guess we could just copy the bed. Oh, just kidding. I have to put in another cheat code to unlock the objects. Uh, it's a whole hassle. Let's just continue onwards over here. So the results of the x-ray scan on Bill clearly show the presence of a treatable ailment. So where's Daisy going to go now that she doesn't have a bed? Is she going to try to steal someone else's bed? Is that what's going to happen? Listen, you have to wait your turn, okay? Other people were here before you. What are you doing? We'll check up with Daisy in just one moment. Let's be sure to go over here and see what diagnosis we have available. So we have Itchy Plum Bob, Burning Belly, and the Gas and Giggles. But I just want to basically be as thorough as possible. I'm really not that much of in a hurry. We just have to diagnose and treat one more patient. So we may as well take our time and make sure that we diagnose it 100% successfully. Where did she go? Daisy, what are you doing? Go back downstairs, get out of that hospital gown, okay? And just chill. I'll get to you in a moment. 
Gwen is at work. Let's make sure that she is working hard. Let's be sure to discuss the general health with Bill. And then we'll go analyze the sample. And that should hopefully narrow down what we need to diagnose him with. Where is our receptionist? Did we forget to hire a new one? Like, what's going on with this? Okay, we have an empty receptionist desk over here. Is the receptionist out? What are you doing? Why are you over here? You're the assistant and you're just standing out here doing absolutely nothing all over again, Royce. It, I feel like it was the same guy that did that last time. At least the other co-workers are kind of doing what they're supposed to be doing. We have the orderly and the doctor who just chill out in this room and do nothing else. Obviously, I need the help. We have a crazy patient just roaming around in hospital robes. What is this? Why is there a garden salad in this examination room? Someone should deal with that. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm busy. Look, I'm trying to analyze stuff. I'm actually trying to treat my patients. I'm not just sitting around on my ass and talking to my coworkers. You both should be ashamed of yourself. You are such slackers. Now, analysis complete. The testing of Bill Christopher's tissue sample and the chemical analyzer was successful. The results strongly indicate the presence of an infectious illness. Let's just do the remaining ones. That way we can definitely be sure to do this correctly for once. Oh, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to shock you there. And, oh, who are you? Oh, you're actually doing something for once, maybe? What are you doing? Why are you... Hey, don't scold us. Are you joking me? You're talking to us about shocking him. You're laughing about that. Get out of here, Shelby. I've had it with you, Shelby. You're the worst. Just go. Get out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyways, let's take his temperature again. Hopefully, this time it won't go so terribly. Daisy, you're the worst. You are the worst. Yeah, get out of the bed, Daisy. That's right. Go away. Go away. Okay, we're hungry. and we. Oh, there we go. We have a guaranteed diagnosis, finally. So you have the gas and giggles, sir. Don't reach out and touch us. That's inappropriate. Keep your hands to yourself, Bill. Here you go. Gas and giggles. But that's what you get for rummaging through trash, man. And now we are going to treat you. We'll prescribe you the medication before we pee all over you. Come on, just take it please and now we are eligible for that promotion let's be sure to go use the restroom real quick daisy where there you are you finally have a bed but you know what lacy was lacy weren't you here last time too i want to say that you were you know screw all of you <laughs> screw everyone at this hospital everyone you know we need some time to just eat some food. We're gonna go take our own little lunch break upstairs. We have about one hour left, so we're gonna spend that eating our food and taking our well-deserved break. You know, Shelby, you could actually do some work for once. That would be great. And where's our assistant? Oh, he's still over there. Royce, you're useless, Royce. You're all useless, every single one of you. Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's just go and make this BLT. Why are we over here? What are you doing? Okay, yeah, just lay that right on top of the sink because that totally won't just cave in and mess up all of your ingredients. That's... okay. You know, preparing food in a public restroom, I don't even think you're gonna have a chance to eat that, really. I mean, you got like a bite out of it, which maybe you should count yourself lucky for that, Kimiko. But we did a great job today. Awesome, and we've been promoted. We have new clothes, a seat of health, and our next shift is Sunday at 8 in the morning. Sweet. Well, let's go back home then. And I'm assuming, I think it might be to the point where we have to do surgeries now. And this may sound awful and stupid, but <laughs> I was so impatient once because I actually was trying to get basically to the highest ranking in the metal career once off screen and it eventually required to do surgeries on sims but the surgeries were so rare and they were like never happening so i just performed surgeries on people that didn't need it to progress so i might have to do that we'll see 
Now let's go into buy mode real quick and check out if we have anything new in here. Yeah, we have, yep, this is the seat of health. What's so special about it? The contoured back and we'll say I'm an intelligent shepherd of welfare, but I also require the ability to zip around while staying seated. Wait, isn't, is this the same? Seriously? But it's like almost the same chair as this one. What's the difference? It has three comfort. Okay. I'll take it. Thanks. I, I guess we'll just stick with this one. <laughs> Doesn't really seem like that amazing of a reward, but whatever. At least it's something. Oh, by the way, well, Gwen's at work right now. So when she comes back, I think I want her to smash these pumpkins. You know, it's already November and these are going to go bad, I think, in a few days. Uh, not until four days, actually. So we still have some time with it. But I want to see what the interaction looks like when you actually go to smash them. And Precious over here. Now we have enough money to buy a monkey bar set. So let's go put this. Um, I guess for now, I'll just put it here. Eventually, I do want to build a better backyard, of course, but we're going to have her go play on the monkey bars for a little while because we are going to focus mainly on the motor skill with her, and she does need to get a skill to level two before she goes back to school on Monday, or I should say once she starts school. I mean, she hasn't even gone to school yet, and she already had homework, but she's already completed it, thankfully. So she'll be able to improve her grade once we level up that motor skill. How is Haley doing? I don't think she goes back to work for a while, actually. Yeah, she doesn't go to work for three days. Actually, when does Kimiko go back? Oh, she goes back to work tomorrow? And yeah, see, she has to perform surgery on three different patients. Dang. Well, I really hope Gwen gets promoted. I don't know if she will, to be honest, because... I don't really see the meter going to the right all that much. Let's see, let's uh, do normal and then go back to work hard. Because I feel like normally you're supposed to be see little arrows indicating that it's going up. There we go. Now it's going up a little bit. I don't really understand all of these work commands still. In The Sims 3 it was so easy. You just put them on work hard and that basically guaranteed that they would get the best performance boost that they could for that day. Gwen gets back home. Oh, she's back home now and she didn't get a promotion. Great. And she doesn't go to back to work for another three days. Great. <laughs> it's just wonderful. It's just the best news ever. Oh, well. So I think actually they, all of them, or almost all of them, have a day off. So maybe we'll have to have them spend some time together. Kimiko is going to be the only one that goes to work, but we could have them all go to a park or something. That way they can spend time together since it has been a little while since we've done that. By the way, we have this awesome fish tank over here. Let's go stock it with fish. They're so cute. Let's go view the fish. Xanadu is crying. Don't worry, Xanadu. We're here for you, man. And we are going to make him a cake. The last time we made a hamburger cake, we could make the same thing over again. But you know what? We made a white cake for the wedding. We had a hamburger cake for Precious's birthday. So for Xanadu, we're going to make him a chocolate cake. And we will finally be able to see what he looks like. Hopefully viewing this fishies in the tank will calm her down since she is tense from work. I'm so glad that they added in these big fish tanks in again. And you can stock it with your own fish as well. I know you're hungry, don't worry. Diego is making some chocolate cake and it's gonna be amazing and everyone will love it. I also do need to take some more pictures. I might do that off screen just because taking a picture of Sims the way you want can be very tedious and annoying. So I will be sure to take pictures of Precious and Xanadu and also even of Haley because I haven't taken any of her. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, you're eating some sugar cookies. All right, that's fine. That's not too big of a meal. What are you doing? Okay, you're Gwen, you're distracting him. Stop it. We're almost ready. I think we have everyone here, don't we? 
we have Diego, Gwen, Haley, Alfonso, Kimiko, Precious, and then there is Xanadu, who will be aging up right now. So let's go over here, and we are going to age him up. And it's it's pretty much impossible to get a good picture of them aging up, unfortunately. So let's go here. Come on. And Xanadu is becoming a child today. There he is. And he has no eyebrows, I don't think. <laughs> Childhood. Boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. I did give him a little science lab downstairs, so I figure I'll just have him kind of follow in his father's footsteps a little bit, perhaps. And that's what I'll go with for now. Why not? And now we can uh, part ways with this cute alien bassinet. There's no reason to hold on to it anymore. It is cool that they added in the special bassinet though for aliens and I hope that when they add in other supernaturals like vampires, fairies, werewolves, and so on that they all get their own special bassinets to accompany them as well. That would be super adorable. Now let's go back into live mode. Stop eating food. Are you getting ice cream? Okay, that's fine. Cake and ice cream. That's totally fine. Let's go... How do we do this? Let's call everyone to the meal. Let's go call to meal. And everyone should hopefully feast upon the chocolate cake that Diego has made in celebration. Ooh, is that of perfect quality? It's of excellent quality. And it's sparkly and pretty. And damn, we are getting good at making those chocolate cakes. Precious, go and finish eating your ice cream cone. I think that's the one that you got out of the fridge. I'm not sure, actually. What are you doing? Alfonso, go take a piece. Stop it. Oh, I kind of wish that they would all sit together at the table, though. It seems like one always goes over here to the couch for some reason. That's kind of weird, but... <laughs> oh, well, it's okay, I suppose. So, yeah, in the next part, I guess I'm going to go back to work with Kimiko again, since she's going to be the only one that's going to work tomorrow, it seems. And then we'll have her potentially perform surgery on a sim. Probably Bill, most likely. And we also have enough money to adopt, I think. I think it's only a thousand simoleons. So in the next part, I might have Haley and Gwen adopt a child, since you can do that on the computer. So that's what we have to look forward to. And of course, Xanadu and also Precious are now in the world as children. So we'll be able to play with them a bit more and do exciting things with the two of them and then Whoever their uh, adopted child is going to be will be here too, so that'll be cool. And we'll have a full house. It's going to be really crazy and hectic. And after we adopt the child, I think that's probably when I'm going to re-enable aging for everyone. And then Kimiko, Diego, Gwen, and Alfonso will all continue to age up as well. But anyways, that is all for now, and I will see you all next time oh wait no we won't no 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 just kidding hold on i almost forgot i almost forgot gwen go outside it is time to smash the pumpkins we're gonna go just do it i almost forgot about this i got distracted with the birthday celebration alfonso just discovered that xanadu is an alien oh that's another thing we got to do that's right so we can actually Disguised. Okay, so yeah, um, disguised self. In case you didn't know, aliens actually have a human disguise. So this is what his human disguise looks like. Wow, he looks just like Diego. Like 100%. I mean, obviously it's his kid. But still, even then, look at that. The resemblance is 100% alike. That's crazy. So I, I'll alter. Oh, that's a cute shirt. Look at that marshmallow. That marshmallow is roasting a marshmallow. Jesus. That is terrifying, actually. Why would you do that to your own kind? Anyways, uh, I will alter his appearance slightly, just changing his outfits and some of his hairstyles. Probably the same thing that I did with Precious here. What is going on this in this picture, though? Like, <laughs> I wish I could take this as a snapshot and actually upload it and hang it on the wall in my game or something, because that's a really funny picture. But I took a snapshot anyways. Okay, sorry. Let's go... Smash the pumpkins. 
Do it. I know you're so tired, Gwen. I'm sorry. Just there you go. Fantastic. <laughs> that was pretty satisfying. Wow, she really just gets in there. Oh. <laughs> the hopping animation is actually really fun to watch. Wow, yeah, that is uh, pure destruction right there. I, She's just letting all of her frustrations for not getting a promotion. What the f***? Wait a minute. You can get on fire from stomping on what? How? Extinguisher! Extinguisher! We've already had this close call before! Oh Jesus! Go extinguish! <laughs> oh my god! Extinguish! 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 Holy crap! Go what are you guys doing? Go extinguish it! Come on! Stop running away! The fire! Go extinguish! Thank you, Alfonso! Oh, okay, you're using the freezeway. That's even better. Why didn't we think of that in the first place? Okay... So, you know what? I think we're gonna just sell this other pumpkin for 43 simoleons. Yikes! <laughs> but anyway... That is all for now, and I will see you all <laughs> next time.